the Action Bible. A Rainbow Promise, based on Genesis 8 through 10. We've been working in this ark for six months now. When will we ever see land again? It could be another six months. And what will we find when we finally get out? Month after month, Noah's family waits. Finally, the water levels begin to drop. The ark comes to rest on top of the mountains of Ararat. I'll send out a dove. If it doesn't come back, we'll know it has found land. The dove disappears from sight. Noah watches the sky. After long hours swirling through the sky, the dove returns. A few days later, Noah again sends out a dove and again it returns. An olive branch. That means some land must be dry again. Seven days later, Noah sends out a dove for the third time. This time, the bird does not return. It has found a place to nest. Noah and his family are anxious to leave the ark. They look every day for signs of dry land. Look! A little over a year after the flood started, Noah steps out onto dry land once more. Only Eight people have survived the flood. Noah, his wife, and their three sons, and their son's wives. The warm sun on my face, the grass under my feet, it feels wonderful. Oh, ground, how I've missed you. Everything evil is gone. Through us, God is giving human beings a new start. We must obey God and teach everyone who follows us to obey. The first thing Noah does is build an altar. He thanks God for his care and asks God's guidance to help the family make a new start. Then God makes a new wonder in the sky. A rainbow! For as long as the earth lasts, there will be a time to plant, and a time to harvest. There will always be summer and winter, day and night, but never again will a flood destroy the whole earth. It's beautiful. God is good. Whenever people see a rainbow, they'll remember God's promise that a flood will never destroy the whole earth again. In the years after the flood, Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their families move down to the river valleys. Their families grow larger. In time, the mountains and plains are dotted with the tents of shepherd tribesmen and the rich river valleys with growing cities.